Hey Team Carlsbad, hope you're all well. Today, I wanna to tell you about some changes I'm gonna be proposing starting with next year's budget. As you know, to provide essential services to the community, the city must be in good financial health. And for the past several years, we have been facing a projected general fund deficit. Cities basically have two choices when they are in this situation. They can either raise more revenue or cut back on our spending. Now, City Council has not given direction to pursue revenue increases. So that means we need to continue to focus on reducing ongoing spending. Now, this is not new. We have known expenses were increasing at a higher rate than revenues for the last few years. In response, we found new areas of savings and implemented stricter budget policies. Most recently, departments have found ways to reduce expenses an average of around 2%, while at the same time, inflation was six to 8%. And we've been able to hold the line on spending even after absorbing over a dozen new programs in response to city council priorities, new regulations, and other needs that have come up. So here's where we're at. Because of this work and revenues coming in higher than expected, we have pushed out when the deficit will first appear, but it's still there and the efficiencies can only get you so far. The next step is to start looking at where we might be able to reduce the level of service we provide, which in turn means reducing staffing levels. Now it's no secret that the city of Carlsbad is known for providing an outstanding level of service. And let's face it, that's a big part of why people love living here. So when we think about reducing services, we want to start with areas that would have the least effect on the community. That's why the first thing we looked at is unfilled positions. Now, for the past year, we've carefully reviewed all vacancies to determine whether each one absolutely has to be filled. From that analysis, we've identified 10 unfilled positions we feel could be eliminated without a significant reduction to city services. Then the next thing we need to look at is internally facing services, reducing organizational programs that are no doubt very valuable, but cannot be sustained within the budget we have. From this analysis, we've identified a small number of filled positions that will be recommended for elimination in next year's budget. The people affected have already been consulted and none of this would go into effect until July 1st of this year. I want to make something really clear though. There are no easy decisions when it comes to these type of reductions. As hard as this is, I feel fortunate that we have time to be thoughtful in how we reduce spending and to give those affected time to find something new. Now I've summarized this in a memo to City Council and ultimately City Council will make the final decision when it approves the budget this June but I did want to let you know my thinking and be transparent about where we are in terms of finances. Again, these things, they're not easy, but that's why as a team, we'll get through this. So thank you, be kind to one another, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care all.